Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a program called Tarot, Your Love Story and this is for the month of August 2017 and uh, this is for you coming from Aquarius. So let me shuffle my Kabbalistic Tarot cards and the first card that I'm going to pull will be for the first 15 days of the month of August relating to your romance and your marriage and for you coming up from Aquarius this is going to be not a good first 15 days firstly in your romance if you find the romance in the first 15 days worry because it's going to come with a lot of complications and problems and if you have an ongoing romance also worry that plenty of issues and the issues have got to do with who is in charge like the ego like some past issues which are remaining secret but are going to be exposed your your side or your romance partner side also the uh, problems of being too dominating and also the problems of being too oversensitive so so many issues are seen in your romance ongoing romance which can make life not very happy for you in the last in the first 15 days Regarding your marriage, the news is quite similar. Past affairs, arrogance from you or your partner, some issues, whether financial or personal, that keep cropping up, and also difficulties in terms of who wants to take charge, and just moodiness as well. All these are going to add together to make your first 15 days in marriage very difficult as well. Now, it's you who is listening to me. So it's you who has to step back and keep the atmosphere as cool as possible. Once you add instigation or provocation, the situation can become really hopeless. All right? Now I'm going to pull another card. And this card has got to do with your last 15 days. And your last 15 days of you coming from Aquarius are going to be very, very good. There is, in your romance areas, Plenty of possibilities of bonding and plenty of good news in terms of getting the romance into a longer outlook. So plans of really investing together, getting together for marriage or things like that can be discussed in the, first, uh, in the last 15 days for you coming from Aquarius. Now, that's for your romance area. In your marriage area also, well, if you find the romance in the, in the last 15 days, it's going to be a very good stable romance. Keep that in mind. In your last 15 days where marriage is concerned, you're going to be very lucky and you're going to find plenty of bonding and plenty of togetherness and the, the problems of the first 15 days can be easily settled. So don't let the first 15 days be too provocative or it'll take time to settle. All right. So your last 15 days in marriage, plenty of togetherness, understanding, give and take is beautiful. There is every possibility of your partner and you finding an even balance together to move forward in a very harmonious way. So I like your last 15 days in marriage and with family like children as well. And your last 15 days where your siblings and your in-laws or your parents are concerned, they are also very helpful. Okay. Now I'm going to take both of these cards and for you coming from Aquarius. Okay, I'm going to look at these cards and I'm going to choose your lucky dates for you. And your lucky dates for you in the month of August are the 8th, the 17th and the 26th. So on the 8th, 17th and 26th, you're going to be very lucky morning, noon, afternoon, evening and night time. So use these lucky dates in your areas of romance and marriage to the maximum. And if you find a romance on these dates, it's going to be a very good romance. And you can get the solutions, get the beautiful bonding of love together on the 8th, 17th and 26th in areas of romance and marriage. Now looking at this card <coughs> and talking about your, uh, for you coming from Aquarius and talking about your lucky ages. Now if you happen to be the ages of 17 or 26 or 35 or 44 or 53 or 62 or 71 or even 80 you're going to be very lucky in areas of romance and marriage and if you find a romance and if you're of these ages it's going to be a fantastically good romance 
and your ongoing romance, you will be very lucky. And if you are married, you will be very lucky if you are these ages. These are very blessed ages in the month of August. And so if you are not of these ages, don't worry too much. Just listen to my advice. Go day by day during a bad period. It's only two weeks or so. And so you will be able to overcome the difficulties. And during your good periods, go all out and improve your romance or marriage and the bonding as well. Now regarding colors, the color which I've chosen for you is the dark color dark blue because I see a lot of signs of the moon and Mercury and Venus. So the color dark blue is going to be very lucky for you, whether undergarments, top garments, uh, holding a, a dark blue handkerchief or a towel or a piece of cloth. Just get into contact with dark blue as much as possible and you will be able to get your romance going or find a new romance or get your marriage into a very good state. I'm a big believer in colors because every color is linked to a different planet. All right, so the, the, the color dark blue is going to get you linked to these three very good planets who are controlling your month of August with these cards. Now, I'm going to also read to you coming from Aquarius. Um, I've chosen somebody from Cancer who can be a very difficult person for you in your area of romance or marriage. So if your romance partner or your marriage partner happens to be from Cancer, worry a lot because you have to approach them or deal with them or whatever you say to do or want to do with them, you have to be very careful. Even verbally be very polite because they can retaliate and be easily provoked in the month of August. And if you have friends or if your siblings or your parents or your in-laws are coming from the period of cancer, don't let them interfere with your area of romance or marriage because they will only produce more trouble. So be careful from somebody from cancer. Now I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50, 50 for a 90 minute Skype session with me. And during these 90 minutes, I will be dealing with your date of birth and time of birth and looking at your palms while we Skype or if you see me personally, I'll be reading your face and uh, you, I can use Kabbalistic tarot cards if you want during the 90 minutes. And I will attend to all areas of your life, including your career, your business, your finances, your health, your romance, your marriage. And this is going to be a very interesting reading, a very accurate reading for your next five or six years. So go to Facebook, go to Skype or send me an email and uh, connect with me, ask me questions and I will come back to you as soon as possible. Until then, thank you and 